So now the continuation of the video with this, how to achieve a very yummy chicken stock that you want to use for your jollof rice. So I want to introduce my ingredients for now again, so my, my tomatoes, my onions, my links. I will put the picture at our attachment to this video, I want to know what to be this thing. So if you never use them for jollof, I try to use them. So this is my bear pepper and enough onions so I don't blend. Now I get my tomatoes paste too. My, this tomato paste, I know they use until they play. It they give jollof rice another vibe. So I think that the oil while I take fry the chicken. Now I can add some onions. See the bubble. So add your onions and then you let them steam for some second. Like just leave them with steam because you need to add all your spices. So right now I'll go ahead and add my spices. This is my bell pepper, my bay leaf. I put my bay leaf, I can't put this curry. So now Indian curry, vegetable Indian curry. If you never have to try me, you try this vegetable Indian curry. Very, very nice. So I will add some now. So after I don't add this Indian curry, I can't add my normal curry, my thyme, and then my aromats. You understand? You will now see the way I will take the two on now. When I just watch the video, but if you never like the video, may you like it on. If you don't see the way you to this point, you never like and but like the video. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna add my normal curry, my thyme, and all, all the old spices baby say I need to add because at this point when you add your spices, it will give your food another unique taste. Yes, at this point you need to add all those all those spices. All those spices that need to be added, you need to add them. That is why I'm adding my own because if you don't add them at this point, eh, I'm not sure say that your jollof rice you will get sweet uh, aroma because you know what if you add your spices now with together with the oil and your onions the the aroma will come release for the uh, oil so with that you can give your jollof rice another unique uh, aroma and taste so i don't add that my links this when I show now just now I'll see how attach the picture more as here. You will add and then you can turn that together together with your spices that you've already added before. So turn everything together and you cover and me let and steam. You understand? Because you need to leave and make all the old uh, aroma may enter the oil. So I cover my own and I let and steam for some second. After it's steam finish, I'll come come back now. This is after some second, like 10 second when I take uh, take put them. I cover and let them steam. Now I can add my tomato paste. It's my vegetable tomato paste. I'll add that now. I'll come turn everything together, you know. Turn it together, turn it together. Because if you don't turn it, your tomatoes aroma no go see enter your oil. Yeah. Um, Almost this, pro this uh, process is very, very necessary. You understand? So... I'll come after I don't add this tomato space now. I will now go ahead and then I will add my blended bell pepper and onions. So I'd already add them. See the toner. Make sure you're stirring your food up because if you don't stir your food, it will get burnt. And I know you know you you wouldn't like your food to be burnt. So make sure you stir your food. So after I don't after I put that to the bell pepper just now my blended pepper and my onions i can cover my pot can let them steam for some second at this point if you want add salt if you add salt if you want add another mangi if you add another mangi but me i know add because i used to mangi to steam the chicken so this is my chicken stock i don't already add and put after i don't add this my chicken stock now i can turn my pot more give it another um stir make sure you stir in your food and make sure you're cooking your food on a medium, on a medium heat, not too high, not too low. So you stir and after you don't stir and finish, you come uh, put uh, this thing. You come remove some tomato sauce. This tomato sauce we want remove now. After the rice done, done, like eighty percent, you add that again. You come stir everything together. You understand so that's why i did remove that one and when you add your water be very careful how you add water for jello fry because if you still add too much water the rice no you will just do watery no it just come out well at all so at this point my rice already don't reach 80 percent now they add my so tomatoes. after you add the tomato uh, sauce so finish you can cover and let her cook for some 
some some minutes or some seconds. After a long period, you can come come turn. If you want to put your uh, butter at this point, if you put butter. So this is how you can achieve a very yummy jollof rice. Please make sure to like this video, share the video, and follow my page for more.